Hi class, Dr. Miranda here, and we are continuing uh, module one review. Now, this is a video about the company selection, okay? So let me go ahead and, all right. Now, <clears throat> uh, company selection, okay? We're gonna have a little conversation about this, which is going to be very important, okay? Um, you will have, three companies to select from, okay? Um, let me get that rubric here, okay? Okay, the number one company is Alterix, okay? The second company is the LS Starred Company, and the other one is Nordstrom Inc., right? You will select only one of these three, okay? So as you see here, okay? Um, what are going basically going to be doing with this? All right. Um, according to the rubric, okay, you're going to again choose one, only one of these three com of these available three companies. I have had students in the past actually trying to use another company. Now I understand that some of you are working on a project, working on a company, um, and, and this company you have it has been selected since the beginning of your uh, MBA track. Okay. Now. I, I understand that, you know, and, and I personally would have been very satisfied if, you know, the university decided that, hey, you know, we're going to go ahead and allow you to actually do the financial expansion using your selected company that you've selected in the beginning. However, uh, the leadership has decided uh, for the purposes of the course itself, I think it's to actually... Uh, help you have a greater uh, appreciation for the dynamics of certain uh, publicly traded company um, and every publicly traded company is different okay uh, even though the, the, the company that you selected in the past may be publicly traded um, you know there are certain dynamics there are certain flavors of the company and and I believe that these three companies that were selected are very solid companies are uh, companies that really lend themselves uh, to these type of exercises. They are very different from one another, okay? Very different industries, very different challenges, uh, you know, very different flavors. Um, and they are really, uh, you know, fantastic selections. So you will limit yourself to three, to one of these three, okay? Um, again, Please do not select uh, other companies other than these three, okay? So it's going to be very important. And, and again, I, I am, uh, you know, I, I repeat myself uh, because I always have, uh, uh, you know, a team member um, who decides to do his or her own thing. And, and unfortunately, uh, without the selection of only one of these companies, uh, the assignments cannot be accepted for grading, okay? So these are exciting companies. I'm telling you, you you, you have got a company. You have, um, you know, you you have a uh, instrumentation company. Uh, let's start, and then you have, of course, fashion company Nordstrom. Okay, uh, so you know, really, really great dynamic choices here. Okay, now you, <coughs> why you're going to be selecting one of these companies? Okay, once you have chosen your company, you will determine the investment opportunity for which you are seeking funding as the country to your company will be expanding okay so it's going to be very important for you to select that company but also when you are turning in the assignment for this week your company selection that you give a good um, um, background information on why you believe this is a good company but another information that you need to have available in this document that you're going to turn in this week, okay, your company selection assignment, okay, even though it's non-graded, it has to be coming in this week, okay, uh, because this is the beginning of, you know, the, the, the selection of the company and also, you know, the country. So you have to select the country, okay. Now, the country selection is going to be very important. I know this is going to sound funny, 
All right, but I have folks in the past saying, well, I want to open a company. I'm going to choose Alteryx, and I want to open Alteryx in Africa. That's my country, Africa. Well, um, the thing is, Africa is a continent, and um, there are many countries in Africa, so please be specific, right? Uh, you know, you want to open a company in Kenya or in South Africa, okay, Cameroon, um, you know, Madagascar, you select a country, okay? Others have said, well, I want to open a company in Europe. Again, Europe is the continent. You want to select a country in Europe, right? And then I had really, I'm telling, eager, fantastic, proactive colleagues, team members will say, I tell you what, I'm going to choose Europe, but I'm going to open this company in Portugal, in England, in France. Please, only select one country, okay? And you're going to see that it's a lot of work just for one country, okay? Um, while I do applaud the enthusiasm, but the workload will be crushing if you select multiple countries. So let's just do one country. And the other thing is um, <coughs> some of these companies, let's say um, Nordstrom, have expanded to other countries. And one of them is Canada. So please do not select a country in which your company has already expanded to. Okay. Um, the reason for this capital budget project is for you to really start at the ground floor, to really start in virgin territory, unexplored territory for the company. Okay, it's really not fun at all for you to say, oh, "I'm going to open a Nordstrom company," you know, in 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 Canada. Well, they already have in Canada, right? It's no fun in that. You want to be proactive. You want to say, "Hey, I'm an explorer here. We're going to make a lot of money." in a market that no one has already, you know, my company is not already in. We're going to go in and we're going to make tons of money. We're going to make so much money that, oh, my goodness, all the other companies will want to open, a, uh, you know, uh, their branch there. Okay. So very important that you select, again, just reviewing. Review, it's a good thing, right? Right. Um, the choices that you have is Alteryx. LS Start Company and Nordstrom. Those are the three choices that you have, and please only select one. Okay. From that, you're going to select a country, okay, on which you will open your company. Again, please don't select a, a, a continent. There are many countries in a continent. Just so select one, one country in that continent. And the other one is please make sure that you don't expand into a country that your company is already in there. You say, well, I don't know. I don't know which country they're in. I'll go to their website, and they will give you that information. Okay? It's really cool, really fantastic. Now, of course, let's look into the instructions for the 1.2 final project review and company selection. This is, of course, due by Sunday. Um, you know, review the final project guidelines and rubric. And this is the document, of course, that we looked into. It's a great idea for you to look at it, okay? Um, and you know, I go into very much detail that in, in the uh, final project <coughs> phase of, of the classroom. So, But just kind of look at it, okay? It's really, really cool information, fantastic information. We'll not put you to sleep, <laughs> right? Now, um, and of course, you, you, you can, you know, put... Put any questions to the general questions discussion. Cool stuff, not a problem. Uh, but I would say this, best thing to do is, if you want to answer right away, text me. And, and uh, my, uh, you know, my, my uh, <coughs> contact information is, is available already. Okay. Now, after reviewing the options in the final project, guidelines and rubric document, consider what company you wish to evaluate, the country to which the company might expand, and the specific expansion opportunity. Submit a Word document that briefly lay out your choices. Okay, Very important for you to really give a good rationale on why you want to open a company in that in that country, right? Just don't submit a Word document like with a, you know, a line or two. 
Well, I want to open a company in Cameroon because it's really nice weather. <laughs> Although it's really great information about the weather in Cameroon, right? Uh, and of course, they have a real great soccer team. But we want a little bit more information than that, right? You know, talking, uh, you know, not asking for you to write, you know, the uh, Old Testament or the New Testament or you know, or, uh, any type of uh, of uh, exhaustive thesaurus. Just you know, uh, just a few um, sentences. You know, why you believe it's a good thing for you to open your company there, okay? and it kind of gives you a good, you know, a good information. And, and get your brain going, pumping, you know, thinking about this this uh, expansion in a broader way, okay? Um, so I'm really excited about this, and, and I really uh, just really encourage you to, to get this information in as soon as possible during this week. Of course, the deadline is uh, on, on, on Sunday, okay? But it's important for you to get it in this week because... Um, you know, I will either say, hey, this is a great company choice, really great country, or I'll come back and say, hey, by the way, you need to either select another company or you need to select another country. Oh, and another thing in terms of, of legal, <laughs> um, don't choose any country that the U.S. right now is uh, boycotting or has sanctions against, okay? Uh, you know, so... Um, North Korea is a you know no show no you know no Iran um, no Cuba at the moment okay um, and there are other countries uh, that are on the list and you can get that from the United States uh, Department uh, State Department okay they'll be able to uh, get that information out to you on their website okay so this is the particular uh, information about your company uh, selection. All right, I'll be seeing you around this week. Take care.